I'm somewhere between celebration and definitely cheering it on, <laughs> right? I mean, to me, the sort of SPF episode really uh, cast a really dark shadow over the entire industry. And it was representative, really. It was like the finale of the year 2022 in terms of everything that it represented. And this sort of judgment made a few things clear, I think, for people. The first one, something that we in the industry certainly understood, it was just simply a case of fraud. It wasn't the case of the industry having an issue because some ways, you know, uh, certain media outlets were trying to make it such that crypto was the cause and that, you know, Sam's maybe not such a bad guy after all. <clears throat> but anyway, it turns out that um, that uh, it was just plain old fraud that we knew. And I think it's just the end of sort of um, a chapter and let's move on. And I hope to hear very little of SPF in the future. I know it'll still keep going, but for the time being, you know, it's sort of the, the sort of tapering off of that. So I think it's a really good thing. It's a new beginning. But the other thing that I think is also positive, is it kind of sends another message, which is that in some ways people used to think that if you enter the crypto space, you can kind of get away with stuff, right? With all the scams and the rug pulls and you know all that kind of stuff. And I think this demonstrates that actually you can't get away. There are consequences. And I think that in, in and of itself gives people a certain sense of uh, sort of more safety, which I think our industry needs in terms of reputation.